They stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst thirst is my soul soul for the living God. God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A A thirst thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and my know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I laid down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, during the Black Death in the 14th century, uh, statistically speaking, uh, around 30% of the population in Europe was wiped out, uh, died of the pandemic. And yet, uh, the death rate of the priests, of the Catholic priests who went out uh, to uh, do anointing and to spend time with People, people who are sick and uh, infected, uh, the rate is more than 50%. And so uh, that is a number uh, that, that uh, s- reflects the uh, relationship between uh, the sheep and the shepherds. And I guess in the Spanish flu pandemic, uh, it's about similar statistics, uh, or even in today's world, in our pandemic now, um, especially in Italy, the number of priests is around 100 uh, priests who died of the uh, coronavirus because they, they uh, went out there and they spent time with the people uh, and uh, they got infected and they died in the process. And so that is the uh, image of a good shepherd that we reflect today in the gospel, a good shepherd is willing to die for the sheep. And so we pray uh, for safety. We do everything in our best to protect one another. 
Uh, and thanks uh, be to God that we're still here, we're still alive. Uh, maybe because this, our, our area is uh, blessed in one way or another that uh, uh, not too many people uh, are being infected. Uh, and so uh, I have not uh, anointed anyone with the virus um, in our area. And that is a big blessing for us here around here. And yet we know that uh, that relationship uh, is, is truly a beautiful relationship of the Lord Jesus with uh, His people, with the flock. And His desire is to always go out there, to spend time with the people, the lost sheep, the ones who are wounded, uh, the ones who are dying, uh, the ones who are infected with virus and diseases, uh, and stress and illness and depression and uh, despair. Uh, and darkness and bring them back uh, take good care of them patch up their wounds give them healing and nourishment and new life and joy because the Lord came and he said that I have come so that your life may be abundant I have come so that you may have life and have it abundantly that's a beautiful verse John 10.10, 10, uh, for, for us to take to heart and know that when we have the life of God, we are called to go out there and uh, continue to participate in the works of the Good Shepherd because he's yearning to gather the lost sheep, the other sheep that do not belong to the flock. I have other sheep that do not belong to the flock and I want them to be back uh, as one flock and one shepherd. The desire of the shepherd is like that. And we are his hearts, we are his hands, we are his feet going out there into the world every day uh, without reserve, without holding back, without counting the cost, uh, even risking our own life one way or another, uh, sacrificing uh, our uh, resources or our own uh, uh, well-being for the sake of others, for the sake of the flock of Christ. My dear friends, let us lift up our hearts and our soul as we do. Uh, offer our prayers and needs to God this day. For all church leaders, may the Lord bless them and keep them as they continue to preach the gospel of peace and forgiveness of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected officials and leaders around the world, may God embolden them in working together with their communities for peace and healing among all during this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are employed, and especially those um, who have been affected by employment through this pandemic, may God look graciously upon them and provide sufficient work for them to support themselves and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, especially here at St. Elizabeth and Seton, May the Holy Spirit continue to help us grow in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we continue to um, reflect upon the Good Shepherd, we pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who are sick, may the Good Shepherd continue to reach out to them and heal them of their infirmities, and especially those affected by this pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved dead. May they be received into eternal happiness with our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special petitions that we hold in our hearts, and especially for the intentions of this Holy Mass, for Juanita Bulger, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us pray the prayer for protection in the time of pandemic. O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, 
who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, but remain steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need. We are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son, Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are attending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us to the cross, to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit to be us and work of him, and hence we become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of him, and hence we become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our <laughs> salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously render peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And the share side of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold Jesus Christ, the Divine Shepherd, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy.
see that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Dear friends, as the one body of Christ, let us now share our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Embrace, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, tomorrow is the first Tuesday, uh, and we normally have adoration here at sea, so I invite you to join us uh, with the Holy Mass at 8.30 tomorrow morning, and then right after the Mass we have uh, the Holy Hour together, and I will uh, also sing uh, Taize songs, uh, one way of uh, praying uh, and praising God through songs, uh, meditation songs, and then uh, we'll read and share with you uh, the Psalms of the day. And so please join us tomorrow for the Holy Mass and adoration uh, for the monthly practice that we have here. And we wish you a very blessed and a wonderful day. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us spend this day in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares, snares of the, the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please sing the same hymn again. Uh, let's do uh, verse 4. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, Lord. Wash us.
us, Lord, in the waters of life, waters of mercy, waters of hope that flow from your side. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, oh.